For the past 75 years, the MSU Federal Credit Union has grown and evolved to meet the needs of its members. In our last video, we took you through the 1930s and 1940s of our credit union's development. The 1950s began with Madison Kuhn serving as president for the board of directors for one year. Our assets reached over $182,000 and we grew to 755 members. Leonard Luker became the new board of directors president in 1951 and served through 1964. Then in 1955, when Michigan State College became Michigan State University, it was recommended that we become the MSU Employees Credit Union. After World War II, Quonset Huts provided space for many MSU employees and students on campus, and in 1958, the credit union moved into one of the Quonset Huts. In the late 1950s, the credit union's first member publication was started called the Credulet. While the 1960s approached, the credit union had over $3 million in assets and more than 4,000 members. In 1964, the credit union held a very successful auto loan promotion where we gave away 100 gallons of gas to everyone who financed a car. In the same year, plans progressed for a new building on Trowbridge Road. We moved into the new location on August 27, 1965. Also in 1965, Vern Severance became the new board of directors president and served for nine years. We ended the 1960s with more than $14 million in assets and over 12,000 members. Don't forget to take the short quiz below to be entered to win an MSU FCU 75th anniversary prize package. Stay tuned for more videos about MSU FCU's history.